Meet up close and personal, the great educator and community leader, Timiel Black, will discuss the importance of giving back. Welcome to The Greatness in You. I am Will Horton. Today, our topic is giving. Joining me today to talk about giving is Professor Timiel Black. Professor Black has spent a lifetime as an educator and as a contributor to the greater good. Welcome to The Greatness in You, Professor. Thank you, thank you so much. I'm honored to have this opportunity. Tell me about this journey from Alabama to Chicago and to success and greatness. It's a long story, but let me make it as brief as possible. Uh, humorously, mm -hmm. story goes that when I was eight months old in Birmingham, Alabama, at that time, I looked around seeing what was going on in Birmingham and I said to my mother, I'm leaving here. Mm -hmm. Mama told my daddy, Dixie, this boy get ready to he doesn't even know how to change his diapers. I'm going with him. Mm -hmm. Dad said, Manny, you don't have a job. You got to eat, so I think I'll go with you. <laughs> so I brought my family to Chicago. But actually, uh, we came to Chicago in August 1919, a month after the great race riot that had occurred in July of 1919 at the 29th Street Beach, which is located in what we now call Brownsville. Mm -hmm. And uh, my mother and father were glad, as many people of their generation, to have an opportunity to leave the South to come North uh, to make a living, though many people were making a living. My, where I was born, the house where I was born is still there. And my daddy worked in the steel mill, Bessemer Steel Mill, right outside of Birmingham. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't poverty, it was a desire to have safety for themselves and their, and their progeny, their children. And then to be able to make a living at the same time and to be able to vote mm -hmm. and to get a better education for the children. Uh, I, I know that you've touched the lives of many here in Chicago because I've heard the stories. <laughs> I, I know that you were once uh, a, a teacher at the Sobel. What's, what's so special about the Sobel? You know, we had so many successful African-Americans who went to the Sobel. Uh, Mayor Washington, uh, John Johnson, just to name a few. John Johnson, mm -hmm. Dempsey Travis. Dempsey Travis. N Nat King Cole. Exactly. We come up to the modern times, we talk about all the musicians that yeah. came out of that. Yes. It was, a, this was a diversity of young African-Americans whose parents had the aspirations for the children's future that I had spent mentioned earlier, that these children were going to be successful. And so there was a kind of a cooperation, a coalition between the neighborhood, faculty and administration, and the politicians and the ministry of that neighborhood. It was a stable, very overcrowded, because we were going to school in double shifts. But it was stable. The teachers, though most of them were white, were dedicated to the idea that they could teach and we would learn. Did your life of service begin at the Sobel? My attitude about service occurred much earlier as a teenager, when uh, we had Robert Abbott and then we had two other newspapers, the Chicago Whip and the Chicago Bee, mm -hmm. and um, we created a slogan, don't spend your money where you can't work. In other words, if a merchant was in the neighborhood and we were his clients, and he didn't hire me, not to sweep the floor, but to be a clerk, then we wouldn't spend our money there. Mm -hmm. So most of the merchants understood that. Most of them were white Jewish. 
that were blacks. We didn't have to worry too much. Then we organized our own union while I was 16 years old because we couldn't join the clerks, white clerks union. Mm -hmm. And so with the leadership of a man from St. Louis, St. Louis Kelly we called him, J. LaBert Kelly, we organized our own clerks union. We have to take a short break. We'll be right back. Do you have a desire to help people live better lives? Become a certified greatness coach and speaker. Call 773-445-2400 for the next One Day Greatness course. Saturday, November 17th, 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. Or Sunday, November 18th, 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. at the Hilton Oak Lawn, 9333 South Cicero, Oaklawn, Illinois. Wisdom Keys, Great Proverbs and Sayings by Will Horton is a four-book collection of timeless proverbs and sayings that provide sage advice and guidance for successful living. They are a fountain of knowledge that will inspire, motivate, and empower you to achieve greatness. Book 1, Ability to Extraordinary. Book 2, Failure to Knowledge. Book 3, Lack to Purpose. Book four, quarrel to you. Will Horton's proverbs and sayings are rules of conduct for successful living. Buy the four book set at Amazon.com, BarnesandNoble.com, or call Wisdom Books at 773-445-2400. Shipping is free. Hi, my name is Barbara Bates. Many of you know me as a fashion designer here in the city of Chicago. Well, I'll be fighting with fashion on Sunday, October the 28th, and I'll be knocking out breast cancer, and I'd like for you to join in with me. On the 28th at Northwestern Hospital, there'll be a fashion show, and all of the models in the fashion show are actually breast cancer survivors. These models will be ripping the runway with fabulous fall fashions from Bates Designs. That's right, fighting with fashion, 55 models will all walk the runway We'd like for you to come and join us for this momentous occasion. The funds being raised will be given towards breast cancer research and the Mount Sinai Healthcare Center. Sunday, October the 28th at 4 p.m. Northwestern Hospital, we'd like for you to join us in knocking out breast cancer. As many of you know, one in eight women will die from breast cancer. Breast cancer is something that you can eliminate with early detection. I ask that you address it now so that I can address you later. Won't you join us on Sunday the 28th at Northwestern Hospital at 4 p.m. for this momentous event. Discover the personal powers that unlock the genius and the greatness in you. Will Horton, author of the Wisdom for Greatness series, has written a breakthrough book, The 30 Power Principles, 30 life-changing principles that will help to give birth to your greatness. The 30 Power Principles can help you awaken and bring forth infinite possibilities for happiness, health, success, and greatness. Buy it at Amazon.com, BarnesandNoble.com, or call Wisdom Books at 773-445-2400 for free shipping. Welcome back. We are talking about giving with Professor Timiel Black. Giving is one of the greatest gifts of life. Number one, your true wealth is not in your possessions, but in your expressions. What you give the world. What you give is an expression of your character and makeup. Number two, you only have one life to live and it will be judged by what you give. Give love to others and the world. Number three, if you want success, develop the habit of giving. What you give will be returned to you in greater abundance. Let's hear what some people on the street are saying about today's hot topic. I like to receive too, but uh, usually I'm pretty good about giving. Helping out your uh, fellow man is one of the nicest things you can do. People that really need stuff, you, you, you like to give. I mean, that's, that makes you feel good, really. 
uh, American Indians believe you have to prepare for seven generation hence, which means you've got to live your life so that we preserve Mother Earth, you preserve your, 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 your passing your teachings on to your children so that their children can teach their children and on and on and on. And that, that's just really what it's about, is keeping it going. My name is Newman Savage, I'm from Chicago, and you have greatness in you. We have to take a short break. When we return, we will hear what our friends on Facebook are saying about giving. Will Horton's Power Quotes is a six volume collection of power quotes that will get you in the power zone. Volume one, power for dreams. Volume two, power for success. Volume three, power for hopes. Volume four, power for winning. Volume five, power for greatness. Volume six, power for life. Future success awaits those who make the best use of the present, says Horton. Will Horton's Power Quotes, the six-volume set, is available at Amazon.com, BarnesandNoble.com, or call Wisdom Books at 773-445-2400 for free shipping. Are you living your best life? Have you become the best that you can be? Are you living your dreams and giving rise to the greatness in your life? Call me for one-to-one -one success and greatness consulting, 773-445-2400. The 52 Principles for Successful Living, Keys to Success and Victorious Living by Will Horton, will elevate your mind, lift your spirit, and take you to the pinnacle of success. They provide the key to success. They will connect you to the power of your higher self. Buy it at Amazon.com, BarnesandNoble.com, or call Wisdom Books Incorporated at 773-445-2400 for free shipping. Make your child head of the class. Head of the Class Early Childhood Development Center, 1900 East 87th Street, Chicago. Committed to excellence in education. Call 773-721-7500. Welcome back. Let's go to Facebook and see what people are saying about giving. I'm Crescencia Felty, and today on Facebook, Brandon said, let us not be satisfied with just giving money. Money is not enough. You must spread your love everywhere you go. Derek said, giving liberates the soul of the giver. And that's true. Marcus said, give gratitude every day. Wake up grateful for the sun and the nature around you. Every day is an opportunity. Thanks, Crescencia. Let's learn wisdom for a healthy you. I'm at the medical offices of Dr. Claudia Johnson. Dr. Johnson, what is your Healthy You tip for today? With winter fast approaching, my healthy tip is how to winterize your body. We winterize our cars, we bring in our rose bushes, and we even make sure our heating systems are fine. But just what do we do for ourselves to make sure we're safe and cozy for the winter? The first thing we need to do is make sure that we get enough water. Water, in fact, can keep us from being dehydrated and it can also help guard against hypothermia. The elderly are more prone to heat stroke in the summer or just also more prone to hypothermia in the winter and water works in both cases. We have to take a break. When we come back, we're going to get up close and personal. Professor Black. For the best in limousine service, ride with a butler. Call Butler Limousine, 708-758-5466. Do you have a desire to help people live better lives? 
Become a certified greatness coach and speaker. Call 773-445-2400 for the next One Day Greatness course. Saturday, November 17th, 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. Or Sunday, November 18th, 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. at the Hilton Oak Lawn, 9333 South Cicero, Oak Lawn, Illinois. The ABCs of Success, A to Z Rules and Action Steps for Success by Will Horton will help give rise to victorious living. They will help you condition your mind for success, keep a positive attitude, get in the success zone, achieve success and victory. Buy it at Amazon.com, BarnesandNoble.com, or call Wisdom Books Incorporated at 773-445-2400 for free shipping. The Biblical Success Principles, The Laws and Power of God by Will Horton is a theology of success. The Biblical Success Principles book and study guide can be used to bring forth God's will and purpose for your life. Buy them at Amazon.com, BarnesandNoble.com, or call Wisdom Books Incorporated at 773-445-2400 for free shipping. Welcome back. Professor Black, you had a very special relationship with Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. Tell me about that relationship. Just a little bit of history to give some idea of how that relationship came to be. When I was in World War II, I saw one of the concentration camps, Buchenwald, and how in a very scientific, organized way, human beings had exterminated other human beings. Some, by the way, were African-American, I mean, Afro-German. Afro-Germans. Mm -hmm. I cried because I had been through four major battles earlier, but never thought that I would see anything like that. Then I realized that what had happened in Germany could happen anywhere in the world. And I made a commitment to myself psychologically and emotionally that the rest of my life was going to be spent trying to make this a better world. Coming back home, getting involved, having been involved in organizing unions, getting involved in social issues right. with various organizations like the ACLU, right. the, uh, the uh, Progressive Party that demanded that never again would the armed forces be segregated as they had been in my period and earlier. That was a demand. Now we were out of the service with some of us with distinctions and we had the benefits coming from the GI Bill of Rights, but that wasn't enough. We wanted to see that extended to all Americans, black, white, brown. So we began to organize around those social and cultural civil rights, civil liberties issues. I was teaching in Gary, Indiana, in 1954, December, I think the first, and I looked on television, saw this good-looking young man saying, I'm tired, mm -hmm. I'm tired. I decided immediately, since he articulated my feelings about being tired of being pushed around, I caught an airplane and went to to uh, Montgomery, Alabama, the Dexter Avenue Church. Dr. King was preaching. That was the church he was preaching in. Mm -hmm. And he was repeating what earlier had been said. From that point on, Dr. King was a model for me as well as for others. I'm a northerner. He's a southerner. But there was a 
a kinship that crossed those physical borders because we shared the idea that we were tired of seeing human beings abused and mistreated. And so when he, I was at that time the president of the Chicago chapter of the Negro American Labor Council, which was the creation in a way of Mr. A. Philip Randolph, who was the president of the Brotherhood of Sleeping Car Porters, Excellent. who had the kinship. Mm -hmm. And through Bad Rustin, we began to have regular relationships, Dr. King and myself. Mm -hmm. And so Montgomery was the beginning. When he wasn't sure what was going to happen, when he I was with him in the Birmingham March, that was an experience. Mm -hmm. And uh, when he was asked to come to Chicago for the breaking of segregation, how, uh, before that, before he, when he was organizing the march on Washington, he had Bad Russell to call me and ask me would I take the leadership in organizing the Chicago contingent for the march on Washington. What a great legacy of service to our community. Professor Black has much more to share with us. When we come back, we're going to find out what life lessons he's learned. Martin Luther King Jr. is a hero, an inspirational book for children from early childhood through middle and late childhood. Martin Luther King Jr. is a Hero will help parents and children better plan their life's journey, aim, and destination. The book will help young children give birth to their dreams. Buy it at Amazon.com, BarnesandNoble.com, or call Wisdom Books at 773-445-2400. As always, shipping is free. Make your child head of the class. Head of the Class Early Childhood Development Center, 1900 East 87th Street, Chicago. Committed to excellence in education. Call 773-721-7500. I want to be a veterinarian, a teacher, to be a doctor. I want to be a If you know your abilities and you believe you can, you eventually will. Don't just be ordinary. I want you to become extraordinary. The key is that you have to awaken this greatness. Not only that you have to have goals, but you have to work towards them. I learned that the first step to success is to believe in myself and always keep going on with your dreams and never let go of them. Choose your friends correctly because like, if you don't, you can go down the wrong path. Do you have a desire to help people live better lives? Become a certified greatness coach and speaker. Call 773-445-2400 for the next One Day Greatness course. Saturday, November 17th, 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. Or Sunday, November 18th, 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. at the Hilton Oak Lawn, 9333 South Cicero, Oak Lawn, Illinois. Welcome back. We're talking about giving with Professor Black. What are some life lessons you've learned, Professor Black? I think the biggest one was an attitude when I was in World War II to believe and have faith and confidence that tomorrow is going to be another day and I'd have to be ready to fulfill a mission in that other day. To have that attitude 
while this Esther is going on around you, gives a sense of confidence about the future. This doesn't deal necessarily with the realities, but there's a spirituality that carries you. And then an attitude about conquest, as Eisenhower said when he was being promoted to be the general of the armed forces, and we were losing the battles in North Africa. He said this, and I never have forgotten it. The impossible, we do that immediately. The miraculous sometimes takes a little longer. When I look at the experience of African Americans in America, we have done the impossible. And we have examples to prove that. Of course, the most dramatic example we have today is the President of the United States. Who would have thought, even 10 years ago, that an African American would be the president of the strongest, wealthiest nation in the world and be deserving of it because all of the academic and experiential qualities, plus the overcoming of obstacles in his life, race being one of those, but having the folk who supported him early, being folk who believed they had the confidence that we're going to do the impossible. And we have done that. We have done that in athletics. We have done that in the, in the field of music, our music, jazz, blues, gospel, spirituals, sung all over the world. The contributions that come when one has the belief that I'm so glad the trouble don't last always. Oh my Lord, oh my Lord, what shall I do? When one has that, then there are no obstacles. There are pebbles that you move out of the way and go on to the next step. Amen to that, Professor Black. Thank you for your light. And thank you for joining us on The Greatness in You. I want to hear from you. Send me your success stories or comments about success and greatness. Email me at willhorton at the30powerprinciples.com. Friend me on Facebook at Will Horton. Follow me on Twitter at Will underscore Horton. Like us on Facebook. I look forward to meeting you one day and hearing about your journey to success and greatness. Remember, you have to give birth to the greatness in you. This has been a W. Wharton production.